Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Ash Moran. Big news. And when I mean big news, I mean big, big news. So, before I start, congratulations to the 49ers. Well played to them. Ambry Thomas, great interception, saved the 49ers. Shocking and surprise. And now we're going up against the Cowboys in the first wild card. Round one wild card. It's going to be tough. If they can do it, uh, but pff, listen, who knows? But that's for another day. Breaking news from three teams. Vikings, Bears, Chicago Bears, yeah. Vikings, Chicago Bears, and Miami Dolphins. And as you guessed it by the thumbnail, yeah, you're right. Have a look at this. Yep, there you have it. This is the first one. Vikings fire head coach Mike Zimmer and general manager Rick Spielman. So... Let's scroll down to have a read. The Minnesota Vikings fired coach Mike Zimmer and general manager Rick Seelman on Monday. NFL's network's Tom Prasco reported that Minnesota later announced their departures. We appreciate Rick and Mike's uh, for what they've done to the team on the field success, their passion for making positive impact in our community, and their decision to players, coaches, and staff. Vikings owners Ziggory, can't even pronounce that name, and Mark Wilf said in a statement, While well, these decisions are not easy, we believe it's time for new leadership to evaluate our team so we can consistently contend for championships. Uh, we wish both Rick and Mike and the families only the best. Our comprehensive search for a new general manager and head coach will begin uh, immediately and will be led internally. We are determined to have uh, great success and bring Viking fans, Super Bowl champions, they expect and deserve, right? That's that one. And then you have number two, this one. Chicago Bears fire head coach Matt Nagy and general manager Ryan Pace. Right, so what's this? Uh, Chicago Bears fired head coach Matt Nagy and general manager Ryan Pace on Monday, NFL Network in Rappaport. Back in autumn of 2018, Nagy was part in a Bears uh, turnaround. Uh, reversing the course of the storage franchise in the first season at Helm. Uh, Pace had helped fuel by the rise of orchestrating a blockbuster deal for Pro Bowl edge rusher uh, Camille Mack and drafting linebacker uh, Rogan Smith at 8 overall. The Bears earned their first playoff berth in 8 years, leading Nagy to earn the AP NFL Coach of the Year honours. The best times came quickly for Nagy, but they were gone just as suddenly. With the missiles of Nagy and Pace, which the team has since confirmed, came following a loss on Sunday to the Vikings and dropped the Bears to 6-11 for the season. Nagy, 43, ends his four-year tension with a 34-31 record and two playoff appearances, 0-2. and two. So, that's that one. And if you think that wasn't enough, here's another one. And these are literally, must be about 10-15 minutes from each when I looked at my notific notifications on my phone. Breaking news, breaking news, and the last breaking news. Dolphins fight head coach Brian, Fow uh, Brian uh, Fowler's after three seasons. This is uh, I'm shocked about, so let's have a read. Miami fired head coach Brian uh, Fowler's on Monday following the, the Dolphins' season-ending 33-24 win over New England. Fowler's produced a 24-25 uh, mark over the three-season while falling just short of leading his team to the playoffs. Dolphins owner... Stephen Ross explained that he didn't see the progress he expected from his team in 2021, which disappointed early before nearly riding a red-hot seven-game winning streak to unlikely post-season berth. I made a decision today to part ways with Brian. Uh, Dolphins over owner Stephen Ross said in a statement after the team, I was evaluating where we are in an organisation and we need to keep uh, going forward to improve. I determined the key dynamics of our football organisation wasn't uh, functioning at a level I wanted it to be and felt that this decision was the best intent for Miami Dolphins. I believe we have the talented young roster in place and have the opportunity to be much better in 2022. I want to thank Brian for his hard work and wish him nothing but the best in the future. Funny shit, innit? Because they say the whole thing, they all say the same thing, all of them. Vikings, Bears and Dolphins. Listen, they did very, very good for us. Very, very well. They played well this season. I'm not, I, I feel nothing for the best for these guys. But we all have to fire them. And the managers, because they're not where we want to be right now. Don't give us all that crap. They didn't, they didn't, you don't like them, because they didn't do the job, so you got rid of them. Done. But I love how they put a statement out to make it so good. Funny stuff. But yeah, Jesus wept. Even the Dolphins one. So I thought, yeah, three seasons, 
hasn't been all right, but they've slowly progressed. And I thought maybe next year they could go into playoffs the way they were going. Um, but hey-ho, those are the three breaking news of fired head coaches and managers. Listen, I'm a 49ers man fan all the way. Hating, hating when they lose, loving when they win. You know what I mean? I'm up and down left, right and centre, but I'm always going to love them. But what happens if you lose against the Cowboys? You know what I mean? Is Shanahan going to go? Jimmy G going to go? Lynch going to go? You know, you don't know. But them three gutted. Um, but I hope we can see him in, in the future with other good teams. See what happens then. But yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you very much as well for the 57 subscribers. Really full time. appreciate you guys subscribe. Leave a comment down below for this video as well. Let me know what you think of the firings. Also, um... Keep a lookout for me. I'll um, maybe on the next. Uh, I'll be doing the videos throughout the week, as well up to Thursday, maybe Friday, because uh, I'm working late at hospitality and the hospitality trade, restaurants, honestly, and I don't get home to about one two o'clock. But enough being said. Check out the videos. Leave a notification bell on, and then you'll see my videos. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.